is about when I actually tried out the Abbott 80 three speed. And what it was was, as soon as we got it in, we wanted to go out and test it. So my buddy Art, he said, hey, let's go out to the factory and go, you know, put that 80 to the test. So we run our baits out right there and we're on the boat. So, you know, we, we drop them, catch the current and we're sitting there on the boat. Well, after a while, we start seeing that 80 start to bow over and click off and click off and click off. And we're like, all right, cool. So I harness in and as it's clicking off, it picks up a little more speed. And, you know, I sit there and I lock it over and I set the hook and I start my fight. For 30, 45 minutes, it was just, it wouldn't take it much line and I'd pull it back. Take a little bit of line and i pull it back. Take a little bit of line and pull it back. And then, you know, it was about 45 minutes. I was like, man, I said, it ain't moved right or left. It just wants to keep staying in that area. I said, dude, I got a real eerie feeling about this. I said, let's break the anchor loose and let's get right on top of it and see if maybe I can pull it straight up. I didn't think it was a monster stingray. It just, it gave off a very, a very different kind of deal because in the area we were at, we were in the current, so we're moving back and forth. And so as I started reeling in, reeling in, reeling in, we see a rope come up and then a monster anchor comes up and I'm talking hold on well as the rope's coming up you know I was like wow I said did I catch another crab pot and no it was a monster anchor that I pulled in on an 83 speed and toward the end of the fight you know being harnessed up and putting as much pressure as I was on it I was towing the boat backwards and getting right above it and then finally it started to come up so it finally started to come up, and when I finally got it up, man, it had been buried a long time. I mean, real long time. The whole thing was covered in a big old chunk of mud and everything else. <sighs> but it, I do have to say it was one of the hardest fights that I've had on an 83 speed. And it was something that actually on my buddy's boat, even to this day, at the very, towards the very end, what I did was I put it in one of his aluminum rod holders that's on the back side of his seat. And I was cranking down in the lowest gear and slowly working it up and it actually bent the frame and housing of that aluminum rack that he had on the back and good thing it was that if whoever built it built it really well because otherwise that thing would have snapped off and I already had a rope tied to the rod just in case that would happen because you know it's just me I don't trust pretty much anything that's out there because you just never know you know that one time that you let it slide you can lose a rod or something like that. So, yeah, I took an 83 speed to land an anchor. It is what it is, it is fishing. So we end up moving that spot and we tried further down the beach and stuff like that. We hooked up a hammerhead and a cobia. We ended up losing them both right near the boat, but it was a pretty awesome sight to see that hammer coming up and chasing the bait, taking it and running right underneath the boat. But by the time I got around, I ended up losing it. But it's still fishing at the end of the day, you know, it's a learning experience of what's out there and you never know what you're going to catch. So that phrase by uh, Forrest Gump, you know, life's like a box of chocolates. I'm more of what he meant was fishing was like that. But anyways, so, all right, guys, short little story, but thank you for watching. And again, like I said, sorry I missed out on Storytelling Thursday, but our 2,500 subscriber mark is coming up quick. Get more of your friends to get in on it because I'm actually, the gear is on its way. And as soon as it gets in, I'll do the video and let everybody comment on it and so forth. But remember, y'all got to comment on the video and follow through when we announce it. I mean, I can't be calling everybody, you know, I got things to do, website to run, fishing tackle to build, reels to spool, more knots to tie, and you know, let's not all forget, I got to go fishing. Season's heating up. A lot more fish to be caught. I'm going to be trying to set up to where I can do some live video feeds when I'm actually hooked up out there, and we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned, guys. We've got a lot of excitement coming your way, and thank you again for subscribing to our channel, watching, and keeping your comments very polite. As, like I said, we are a family oriented channel. we got a lot of kids that follow us, and we're doing the best we can with what we have. may not be perfect, but again, too, you know, that is life. And it's a hard life, and I'm all about it. Go have a good one.